on the Akeli dish. Welcome in this series where I speak about a record, an artist, a label, and everything in between and beyond. Today, I would like to talk about an artist and a track that are deeply rooted in my heart. We all probably share this situation. We listen to a track for the first time and it is an instant crush. Your mind is captivated and you are creating the memory of the first time you listen to one of your favorite music ever. Take a second, I'm sure you can think of a couple situations like this. Ever New by Beverly Glenn Copland is one of these to me. We are back in 2016 and as I'm still doing today, I spend countless hours over the internet to discover music. It's winter in Paris, my small flat is probably where I spend most of my time, smoking too much, meeting too little people. And over a session of listening to some great and not so great music, I'm falling into a rabbit hole opened by the announcement of a Canadian label. Who is this artist called Beverly Glenn Copland? And why are they repressing an album issued in cassette in 1986? A few minutes later, I'm checking this YouTube video ripping the opening track of the original release, a track named Avenue. The whole instrumentation comes from a keyboard, the Cog Dig 7, and Beverly is singing over the multi layered synthesizer composition. Seven minutes that could last hours bringing a spontaneous joy and a feeling of being welcomed and protected. He sings about spring and summer, but really it's about rebirth and renewal, life sprouting from the ground and sky. His voice shakes low in a melody that feels like a lost anthem, softly singing, Welcome the child whose hand I hold, welcome to you, both young and old, we are Avenue. We are, indeed, Avenue, always changing and evolving in a world that seems to bring us to the ground, continuously displaying the atrocities the human species is capable of. But the ground is the place where things grow ever and ever. Our planet is the very footing for which our ideologies and conflicts are bound. Our world is not just a space we occupy, or a means to end, it's a home, with all the connotation we give to that world. Beyond even that, it continues to offer us the space to have these inner reflections and renewal possibilities as it recenters us toward betterment for ourselves and others. Glenn Copland's voice went unheard for so long, both literally and figuratively. His music is a reminder to try harder to hear those we are not hearing. Much has changed for him during this time. In the mid-90s, he was introduced to the term transgender, which eventually gave him a language for understanding himself. He began publicly identifying as trans in 2002, and personally he is one of the public figures that helped me better understand trans experiences and rights, and in the end question gender identity. Beverly Glenn Copland never stopped walking, creating and writing plays and music. He spent decades walking in obscurity without realizing that's what it was. Obscurity suggests an awareness of the outside world and its desires. Only now does Glenn Copland understand that he was making music for a generation of listeners who are yet to be born. With renewed interest in his solo works, he has taken to touring again and may finally be able to make a living out of an art he started more than 50 years ago. To see and hear Glenn Copeland play songs like Avenue, backed by a band of younger artists who've now bonded with his music, feels like the rightful continuation of the song's message. Young and old, we are Avenue. I sincerely hope this will spark your interest in finding more about this work, because you are about to enter a magnificent world. Some of it that I might tell you about anytime soon, because there is a lot I would like to say. And by the way, do you know that 